Welcome to the Tracentis Tosca Best Practice video series. Best practices are not rules, but guidelines to help you learn from years of experience without having to learn everything the hard way yourself. This video is about working together in a multi-user repository. The most important rule of working together is to communicate. The only effective way to coordinate work without repeating effort is to talk to each other. There are also a few best practices that make these projects easier. First, make sure that each person using the repository has a Tosca user and logs in with their own identity. Each distributed execution agent should also have its own user. This helps make everything more orderly and allows us to easily discover who has a test case we need checked out or which execution agent failed last night. Note that you can choose to connect to Active Directory and use those user identities in groups in Tosca. Admin users are Tosca users who have access to the user management panel. It is a good idea to have more than one admin user defined, but not everyone should have admin access. At some point, you may have test cases or data that need to be segregated from other teams. To allow for this, you can create different user groups, each containing various members. In turn, each folder or object in Tosca can be limited so that only members of a certain group can edit it. This is the owning group. If there are users who may see the test case but not edit it, they can be assigned to the viewing group. This folder will not be available to users who are not in these groups. To finish, we also recommend that all users keep their machines at the same configuration. This way, tests will be more consistent across machines and subtle differences in setup won't impact results. I think that's enough for now. Thank you.